Don't miss your chance to take advantage of this relatively unsaturated digital photography backdrop niche. This digital product is currently in high demand and you don't just need to take my word for it. By using the Shop Analyzer tool in Allura, you can see that this store, for example, is only about six months old. Open February 22nd, 2023. With only 172 listings, they've generated over $41,000 in total sales, with a monthly sales of almost $7,000. And to demonstrate this is no fluke, here's another new shop selling Angel Wings backdrops. With only 90 listings open January 16th, 2023, they've generated over $133,000 in total sales, selling almost 5,000 of these digital backdrops with a monthly revenue of $19,000. These numbers speak for themselves, demonstrating that new shops with relatively low amounts of listings can also succeed in this niche. In this high-impact tutorial, I'll show you everything you need to know to start this online business business from zero to launch, step by step with no design skills necessary. First, I'll help you set up your Etsy store, giving it a clean and professional look. Next, you'll learn how to create these stunning digital photography backdrops using Leonardo AI. Then I'll show you how to create some really sharp mockups for your listings using Canva. And finally, you'll learn how to write SEO optimized listings to increase search engine visibility as this is crucial for driving traffic and ultimately sales. And by the end of the video, you'll have all the skills and tools necessary to sell these digital backdrops for yourself. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open an Etsy shop. To do this, simply search Etsy.com and click open a shop, then create your account. Then one of the first things you'll need to do is pick a name for your new Etsy store. For this, I utilize ChatGPT. Using the AI PRM prompt, SEO Etsy listing, I typed in, I want to set up a shop that sells digital photography backdrops, particularly around maternity. My shop will include digital backdrops used for photography, floral rings, angels wings, pastel smokes, etc. Can you give me some good shop names for my new shop? This basically gave me a description, which is not what I'm after, so I asked again, can you give me several ideas for the shop's name? And this produced a nice list of 20 potential shop names. After much deliberation and several rejected shop names that were already taken, I settled on a combination of these suggestions. Then you'll need to create at least one listing to open your shop, but don't worry, you can just put in the basic information for now and we can edit it later. You will also need to add all your personal information, then you're going to need to link a credit card or debit card to pay any eventual listing fees. The listings on Etsy will cost you 20 cents a piece, but if you use the link in my description, you'll get your first 40 listings for free. Now you can complete your shop's profile by adding a photo, description, and a short story about you and your business. I would recommend not skimping here and really concentrate on presenting the human element behind the business. And to get your store looking professional, let me show you how to create a nice storefront banner using Canva. Here in Canva, you want to type in the search bar Etsy shop banner. Then take your pick from these skinny banners that are the proper size for Etsy. Now once you have your template open, you can add your images and adjust the text as you like. And once you're happy, download this. And that's it. You're now ready to get some optimized listings in here and launch your shop. Alright, now let me show you how to create these digital backdrops. I use Leonardo AI, but any quality art generator will work with this method. If you are using Leonardo, for this method you will need to upgrade to the Apprentice subscription for $12 as this will give you access to the alchemy and the new photo reel setting. Now with Leonardo AI, highly detailed prompts give substantially better results. And I for one am not very good at coming up with the detailed prompts necessary for producing these high quality images. But thankfully we have ChatGPT and I will again be utilizing the Chrome extension AIPRM in conjunction with ChatGPT. So once you have AIPRM's prompt page open, you want to select Stable Diffusion under Activity. And I've been getting the best results using this Stable Diffusion prompt generator by Easy with AI. Using this model, we can type in a simple prompt, for example, Purple Angel's Wings Photography Backdrop. And this prompt will give you five highly detailed prompts that we can copy and paste directly to Leonardo. I've also found you'll get better results by excluding the first couple of words that don't necessarily contribute to the image. For example, capture the other real beauty of a pair of purple angel's wings. I would exclude everything up to a pair of purple angel's wings. So let's copy this prompt and head to Leonardo. Here you can go right to AI image generation, then turn on alchemy from the toolbar on the left, as well as the new photo reel setting. Then I also changed the default dimensions to 512 by 768 and now you're ready to simply paste your prompt and generate. 
And as you can see with this method, Leonardo AI produces some stunning photorealistic backdrop images. It's also really easy to make simple adjustments like color and re-roll these prompts to achieve multiple variations. And this method works with any style you like. For example, let's try creating some pastel smoke backgrounds. So back in ChatGPT, simply type in pastel smoke photography backgrounds. Then again, copy the most relevant portion of the prompt, take it back to Leonardo, paste your prompt, and generate. And bam, Leonardo produces these fantastic looking pastel smoke photography backdrops. Now these images do look great, but their quality is low, so you need to run them through an upscaler. I use pixelbin.io and I upscale them to four times. This will greatly enhance your image overall quality, but we're still not done here. We also need to take this into Photoshop or PhotoP and increase the DPI to 300. To do this in PhotoP, select Image from the toolbar at the top, then select Image Size and increase the DPI to 300. And now you'll have the highest quality images ready to sell. Now let's quickly demonstrate how to create some eye-catching mock-ups using Canva. Here in Canva, you can type in the search bar Photo Collage and select Photo Collage Landscape as this is the right size for Etsy's thumbnail image. Then just choose from any of these templates that you like. I like this one here, so I'll select this, then customize template. Now you can simply drag and drop the images you want to be in your primary thumbnail, adjust the text as you like, and there you go. Now you know how to create some really nice mock-ups for your listings. I would also recommend following the strategy of the shops we analyzed in Allura. Their best performing listings are multi-image bundles with approximately 10 to 20 images. To accomplish this, you will need to gather your images into a drive folder and link them to a downloadable PDF in Canva. Let me quickly demonstrate. Once you have the images you want to include in your bundle collected into the drive folder, then you want to link this folder to one of these A4 documents in Canva. This is what your customer receives when they make a purchase. So now that you have opened your store and are familiar with the image creation process, we are finally ready to go create our listings. And don't forget to use the link in my description to get your first 40 listings for free. Also, if you're finding value in the video, please smash that like button and drop a comment for the algorithm. So to create SEO optimized title tags and description for your listing, I would again recommend using the AIPRM Chrome extension with ChatGPT. Here you can search Etsy and use the SEO Etsy listing prompt by Richard C. Back. The simplest way I've found to use this tool is to search Etsy for a product similar to what we want to create. Copy its title, making any changes specific to your listing. For instance, I want 11 images in my bundle, so I'll add this to the prompt and generate. I would also recommend utilizing these long tail keywords in your title and not just copying it as it is. Also, the tag section in Etsy only accepts 20 characters or less, so I'll also prompt give me 20 keywords at 20 characters or less. Then you can simply take what you like from here, adding what is your own, and there you go. Easy SEO optimized title, tags, and descriptions for your listings. Finally, you can upload your mockups, upload your downloadable PDF, set your listings price, and there you have it. With these steps, you now have all the knowledge and tools you need to create and optimize stunning photography backdrop listings on Etsy. And remember to also focus on providing excellent customer service, staying on top of Etsy's policies, and keep increasing the number of listings in your shop. The more listings you have, the better chance you'll have with Etsy search engine results and ultimately sales. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button for me and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching and be blessed.